And I've been to many uh, events and presentations on microfinance, and I always hear about the clients, of course it's very important, but I've never heard about the loan officers. And I think it's essential, because they are leaders as well. And they are the people who communicate directly with the clients and who build their trust, and that helps them to develop long-lasting relationships. So on your left, you have a loan officer in Nicaragua. Um, we provide services to rural areas, and we bought the motorcycle. So they learn how to use a motorcycle. Uh, most of the loan officers are women, and they speak the, the local language um, in the community. So imagine, I'm from Costa Rica, we're neighbors, it rains nine months of the year, cats and dogs, so when it's the rainy season, it gets very muddy, but they ride their motorcycles to be able to reach out to the women who otherwise wouldn't be able to come to us. Uh, so meet Magali. Magali is a loan officer from Promujer, Mexico. She's 24 years old. She's been with Promujer for two years. She's responsible for 30 communal banks. Each communal bank has uh, approximately 20 women. And we asked her, what, what does it make a good loan officer? What do you need to be a good loan officer? And she said, and I'm just going to read um, her words, a good loan officer must understand the problems that women face. And she said, when women first come to Promujer, they have very low self-esteem. They have very low image of themselves. I remember one woman who cried because she couldn't count the money, and she felt ashamed. By the time she made her sixth loan payment, she was able to count the money by herself. And after a while, she felt much more secure, and she radiated confidence. 